Bitcoin is still looking bullish. We did see a nice bounce of the 67,000 point of control. I am still bullish. I am still in my long trades. And although Bitcoin is going a little bit slower, we see some massive opportunities on the altcoins, which I'm also going to cover in today's video. So just as a quick reminder before we begin, price did just retest the 67k level on Bitcoin. Now in my last YouTube video I was looking at this zone because we also had a daily naked point of control and we had the famous CC lining up with the 67k big range point of control. I was looking for a long trade and happy enough we did see a nice bounce at this area. So just to remind ourselves real quick, this is exactly what I was looking at. We also had a nice supply zone here. And yeah, for those who weren't in the long trades from lower, this was obviously a nice place to look for a continuation based long trade. So we can now see that price did hit the value area high once again, but the reason or the fact that we did bounce off the point of control is leaving me a little bit more bullish. I'm not looking for short trades and I'm actually still looking for a new all time high. So with that being said, there's no trade for me where we are right now. Although we do have an acre point of control lining up with the value area high, for me, the bounce off the point of control was a good sign of strength. And I would only use this for context now. If we lose this 67k area, I am going to decrease the position size of my long trade, which I'm still in from down here. And yeah, I'm very happy to stay in this long trade, still look for higher. And actually, there's not too much to update on Bitcoin. We are at a little bit of a no trade zone, if you ask me. So um, as traders, sometimes we are not presented with a high probability trade. And as traders, we have to learn to, in these uh, scenarios, stay out, manage the trades that we've already taken from yeah, previous opportunities. But in my opinion, jumping into trades up here is where most people get burned. And this is where traders lose money. So... If you ask me, I am definitely not looking for a trade here, not looking for a long trade. This would be very poor risk management, but I'm also not looking for a short trade here as currently this is not looking too weak. Today we can see we have taken yesterday's high. So whenever it comes to these situations, I have to analyze the low time frame um, price action as well. So we can drop down to the 30 minute time frame here. And just by looking at this, so there's only one thing I need to know for me to be able to say that I'm not taking a short trade here. And this is very simple, the market structure. So we can see price made a high, a higher low, a higher high, another higher low, another higher high, higher low, and another higher high. And thus far, price hasn't even changed market structure on the 30 minute time frame. So for me to be able to manage my trade properly, I have to keep an eye here. I have to set some alerts and see if price actually takes some previous lows and attempts a market structure change here for a potential sign of weakness. But that is all, yeah, not happened yet. And in my opinion, it is too early to tell if that is even going to be a scenario I'm looking at. So for me, I'm going to be long and chill and not looking for a trade here. Sometimes it is what it is, but um, as we like to say, not taking a trade is also a taking a trade. And that is the trade of protecting your capital, which I'm going to do here. So I also want to have a look at Ethereum because Ethereum does look a little bit similar. We did see a nice pump here on Ethereum. If you remember that, I was giving a really nice long trade here in one of my altcoin streams, which I'm, by the way, hosting tomorrow over on our website. So make sure to check that out as well. And yeah, on Ethereum, we are also very much slowing down up here. So we can see after we have seen this massive pump to the upside, that was, let me check that once again, that was actually of 38%. So that's very nice. 
um, price is in a bit of a consolidation range here. So looking at the daily time frame, there's not too much I can do. So what I'm going to do is drop down some time frames and check the more local price section because you are all also interested in seeing the lower time frame price section as well and my analysis. So let's have a look at this. I always like to look at this as a fixed range profile to see, okay, price is still trading within this value area. So we can really say not much is happening here. The only thing I'm seeing here, price is in a bit of a contracting price section. So we do see prices making higher lows, but it's also making lower highs. Okay, so this is our high. This is a lower high, another lower high, another lower high but we at the same time maintain this higher low structure. So in my opinion, there are some trades I'm looking at for this local price action, but since I'm already in the long trade from much lower, there is no good swing trade to be had here. So I can hide this now. And um, if I look at this, or actually um, for the purpose of this trade, I wanna show this to you, okay? So um, what is a little bit suspicious to me is the structure of these highs. I don't really like to see that there is going to be a lot of liquidity resting above this 3,800 and call it 55 um, area. And I would actually prefer price to see a bit of a rise to the upside. And then I would be interested in potentially taking a hedge trade because I can see that the market is slowing down a little bit here. And I'm already in this nice long trade from lower, which I would like to protect. So if I was looking at this for the lower time frames, there are two levels that are interesting to me. The one is the daily right on the range point of control. So what I would like to see down here is for price to find support down here. I would want to see price reclaiming these lows because that is one of my strategies, which I already teach them over at Chart Champions. But I always like to look for reference levels um, to be claimed before I take a trade. In this case, that would be a nice reference level. And if that is the case, I would be interested in a long trade here. And my target would actually be this daily up here. Now, if we look at this, one of my primary focuses is always to look at it in terms of price location. So does it even make sense to look for a long trade down here? And a tool that is very helpful for that is to look at the Fibonacci retracement tool. And we can see this right here is also lining up with the CC. So in terms of an intraday trade, I'm actually going to set an alert right now. This is something I'm looking at because for intraday support for the day trades, this does look interesting. And the same applies up here. This is not so much a day trade up here, but this is something where I would even look for a for a hedge trade. So we do have the CC lining up with the daily more or less. And when I look at the highs on Ethereum, it does look a little bit more finished compared to Bitcoin. But uh, yeah, since we made this high here at 3980, I just at least want to look for a protection hedge trade if we get here. Now, that doesn't mean that I would set a limit order here. As always, I prefer to look at um, or I prefer to use market orders, but what I would do here is give it some time. If we reach this area, I want to see a one hour market structure change to see if I'm even interested in this hedge trade or not. Because what could also happen is say we do get the bounce here, price is just taking off. We've seen that before. I have to prepare it for that. And I don't want to be stuck in a trade here via limit order and then get stopped out. So I want to see the reaction first. I want to see a market structure change. And then I could be looking for a trade. Until that is the case, I'm going to stay flat waiting for my lower level to hit or my um, higher level to hit. First, no trades in between here because this is, yeah, in my opinion, low probability, low probability where we are at here. So I'm going to send an alert for this as well. And yeah, at the same time, although we see Ethereum, Bitcoin slowing down a little bit, we actually see some massive moves on these altcoins. So there was one coin we were looking at yesterday 
and that is beer. So um, yeah, I have no idea what this coin does, but we can just see this thing is just pumping. But um, there's also one thing which is uh, very important in terms of risk management. So I myself never like to trade something that had a pump like this. I would much prefer to miss out of this move. Even if we pump another 1000% from here, I'm very happy to be setting this out. I'm not forcing a trade up here. And what I would um, actually like to do is look for some other altcoins that also had some nice moves to the upside where I could look for some pullbacks and one of that is actually Floki against USD Tether and we can see ever since we had this massive range down here price had a very violent and impulsive break out of this previous range we can see a bit of a consolidation formed here and actually since yeah it was in April price started another nice run to the upside. So the first thing I always do that is just something I scan right when I check the chart is what is market structure telling me. So market structure on the daily time frame we can see price is making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs and higher lows. So Keeping that in mind, do I want to look for a short trade up here? Let's have a look in terms of market structure. This would be a bad idea. Is there any price history? No. So we are at all time high territory, at least on Bybit. I don't even know if that coin was listed anywhere else before, but I'm trading on Bybit and thus I'm charting on Bybit. So there is no price history here. So the only thing I would be looking at is actually to look for a pullback continuation trade. So this chart is a little bit too naked as it is so I need to add in some tools to look for some interesting areas. So I can see we do have a daily below which looks interesting just context based because we can see this would test previous supplies. So this area was definitely a significant area. We can even um, include this price action here because that was where price was finding demand into supply, into supply, into supply. We flip that into demand. So we can already say context based. We don't want to see this area being lost at least for um, yeah for the continuation based trades. Because other uh, so so if we lose this area, I would actually expect the weekly or monthly to be tested. And by the way, I am currently working on a new supply and demand lesson, which is going to be released next Monday over on our website. So just as a quick reminder, we do have um, um, a course with yeah, starting from beginners, going all the way down to advanced strategies and TPO series, Elliott Waves, everything you could dream of is inside here. And yeah, there's going to be a new lesson being added on Monday, which is supply and demand. In my opinion, a very crucial and very important concept of trading. So um, yeah, I'm sure you're looking forward to that. And I think that is going to be a good one. But um, yeah, with that being said, we do see exactly that happening here. A bit of a supply zone for continuation. You don't want to see that being lost. So the next thing I would always do is check some more confluences. And around the same level, we also have a naked point of control, which is right at this big range point of control. And this is actually very similar to what Bitcoin was doing. So we don't want to see the big range point of control being lost. Otherwise, we could look for a full value rotation at least into the value area low. So this is going to become a very important area. Now, one tool I absolutely love on these altcoins is the anchored VWAP. And I would say it's probably going to take a little bit of time until price retraces down here. But at the time, it is probably lining up with an anchored view up as well. So this is going to be a very interesting zone. Now, the daily is a little bit higher here. So what I would do, and I like to do that on altcoins a lot, actually, is I would wait for my levels of interest to be hit. I would wait for the daily to be reclaimed and then I would even look for a nice swing trade entry here. I would allow price to take this previous low and yeah, so if that happens, I am prepared. I am going to react whatever the market is showing me and this is definitely going to be an interesting zone. 
Now, if you say that um, you're more of a scalp or day trader on these altcoins, there's also nothing wrong with that. And if um, that is the case, I would even drop down a few timeframes and check the, the order flow. So here I'm using Atas. I have um, shared all my templates within our community. I've explained everything. And what I would do here is just look for these intraday levels on these coins that are seeing some nice runs to the upside. I'm not forcing trades at the top, but on retraces, I'm using these templates to look for some interesting areas. In the example of Flocky, I would, if I was day trading this, I would keep an eye on the 0 0.29 area on the naked point of control, weekly VWAP, and also some previous supply. So um, yeah, also always let us know if you like to see these low time frame analysis a little bit more, because I can also include that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. So not too much to update on Bitcoin, Ethereum also going a little bit sideways. We do have some levels to look for and yeah. I would just wanted to make you aware that these altcoins do have some very nice volatility. And one more thing I want to announce here is that today we actually have a live trading stream. It is going to be the Power Hour live trading stream. And yeah, I am going to be part of this. Igor is going to be part of this. And also Daniel is part of this. So I think that's going to be a very exciting one. So um, stay tuned for that. And yeah, wish you all a great day and see you next time. Goodbye.